26, 2021. My son Kareem was the most amazing human being you could ever meet. His heart was so beautiful and he was so kind. He loved life so much and he lived it to the fullest. On August 26, 2021, my family's world changed forever. Three Marines in dress uniform notified us that my son, Marine Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nikui, was killed at Abbey Gate during the chaotic and botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. That day still seems like yesterday, and every waking moment is filled with the pain that my son was murdered senselessly and unnecessarily. I want to honor my son's sacrifice by speaking honestly about what happened that day and what has happened since from a mother's heart. My son, my Kareem, was the most amazing human being you could ever meet. His heart was so beautiful and he was so kind. He loved life so much, he lived it to the fullest. He loved our country and wanted to make a difference. He knew this was his calling since he was a child. He lived out his dream and became a United States Marine. On August 28, 2021, our family flew to Dover to bring Kareem home in a casket under this nation's great flag. On August 29, 2021, with only four hours of sleep since the day Kareem died, I met with the person who holds the position of the so-called Commander-in-Chief of the United States military. President Biden and his wife walked up to shake my hand, and I declined. I was clear to Biden that I didn't care to talk to him. I was there for my son. Then I changed my mind. I wanted him to know Kareem, my son. He was just 20. He would never have a chance to get married or have a family. He would have made an amazing daddy. I know this because he was so amazing with his niece and nephew. I wanted to show Biden the human being and the hero who lost his life serving next to his fellow Marines. Instead, he interrupted me twice to talk about his son, Bo, who died from cancer, saying he knew how I felt. He never thanked us for my son's service or told us he was sorry for our losses. On August 9, 2022, three weeks before the one-year mark for Kareem's death, my oldest son took his own life while grieving his little brother, Kareem. He wanted to be with Kareem, and the pain in his heart was too unbearable. This is called the ripple effect. My heart cannot find comfort or peace because I am grieving for two sons. For two years, I have tried to avoid watching the news, hearings, etc. Because every time I do, it feels like I'm being punched in the heart by this administration. My life will never be the same. I will never be who I was before my son was killed. I'm still trying to find out who I am and move forward with my life. And that's something that I struggle with every day because all I feel is pain in my heart. I miss my sons so much. They should still be here. What happened in Kabul was preventable, avoidable, and should never have happened. When you know you're guilty of doing something wrong, you don't talk about it. And if you get caught, you blame someone else. That's exactly what Biden has done for two years. He refuses to say our 13 fallen heroes names and blames everyone else for his failures. I want accountability. Will it bring my sons back? No, it will not. But it will bring me some comfort and I know my sons will look down on me and smile and be happy that finally something was done about their lives being lost. Keep in mind, there was a description of the bomber. How come the person who gave the description didn't take the bomber out right then and there?